What's going on, everybody? It's Colton coming at you from the chalkboard. I got Tyler, first time actually on a podcast. Oh, wow. We've been part of the group for a while now. We got Mitch, he's the usual. We got Jeff, the usual. And actually, Jeff's wearing one of the uh, shirts. Got the chalkboard on Teespring Check or the it. chalkboard storefront. You can pick one up for yourself. It's only mm -hmm. about 16 bucks. Other than that, today we're going to be talking about uh, time traveling, just like some of the most best movies like Looper and also yeah. Butterfly Effect. I know it's a pretty good movie. I've seen both. I've yeah. seen both of those Butterfly movies. Effect 2? I have. I have. Kind of kind of trash. But Butterfly Effect 1 was was real yeah. good. Real good. But, uh, yeah. I mean, what's going on? What do you guys know about some time travel? Let's talk about movies real quick. That's a bad idea. All right, yeah, 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 name yeah, a movie. Yeah. Okay. Name a movie. I was going to say, you can't say back. You can't you didn't put Back to the Future. That's okay. Like one of the main oh yeah. yeah. Okay. You yeah. have to put that That's one like in the there. Headline. We're That's talking right time there. travel movies. You know, flux capacitor. Got to get eighty in or out this bitch. You <laughs> know what I mean? <laughs> what about you? Where you got a time travel movie from growing up? Anything you remember? Uh, what was that? Bill and Ted. Ooh, Bill yep. and Ted, dude, yeah, that was And they're fire. actually coming out the remake. Coming they are, real dude. That slowly. was going to be good. Not a remake, but it's a, a, a third, sequel. Third movie. It's third a sequel. Movie. They got kids. And the kids right. help them out. Yeah, their dude, kids yeah. are actually going to be helping I'm them out. I'm saying Keanu Reeves is on it, dude. Three three movies going to be released in one month. Matrix yeah, 4, Fire. Fire 4, and Bill and Ted wait, wait, all wait, in the wait, same wait. month. I didn't know about Matrix. Yeah, but Matrix. Matrix. Oh, my God, dude. dude oh, I didn't know. That's a whole other podcast. That's yeah. a whole other podcast. Oh, man. All right, moving All right, on. yeah, yeah. But Matrix 4. <laughs> yeah, <it was> Matrix <laughs> motherfucker 4. All right, what about you? You got a time travel movie? Uh, Honestly, Growing up, it, it would have been Back to the Future. That was that was really about all right, it. All right. I was either watching um, that. Hot Tub or Time Machine. No one threw that out there. That's okay. a real problem. I'm trying to think. I'm trying that to think. That Palm Springs movie was Ooh, real. Palm yes, Springs. That was. That's not time travel, but it's like a time. It's loop. a loop. A Groundhog's Day situation. I think it's similar. I think it could yeah, probably yeah. Get it works. Up. It works. Okay. Now wasn't I mean, there, wasn't there another one with uh, was was it Keanu Reeves or something about a mailbox? You're talking yeah. about the the lake house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I don't know, it was I don't know like, if I've seen that. Was that Keanu Reeves? I don't know if I've seen that. Oh, no, I just thought it was like something about a white guy. I know it was a white guy. <laughs> a white Wait guy. Wait a minute. Oh? What we got? Is it Taco Bell here? It might be. All right, Mitch, uh, you already uh, talked about your movie, so go ahead and go grab the Taco Bell. Where's my phone? Oh. I'm going to say, like I said, Hot Tub Time Machine. They uh, they even have a sequel, but uh, that's like real easy. Oh, and, and, and both, both are fantastic. Dude, I, I, I love, love those Dude, movies. I cracked up. But, I mean, all of those are based off the theory of Einstein's theory of relativity. Um Basically, uh, I'm not even going to get into all that, but basically if you're in space and you got a twin down here, you're going to age slower than the guy down here because you're traveling at the speed of light. Which, and when you're traveling at the speed of light, because basically time it, time's like a dome around Earth because we're rotating as well yeah. while we're uh, flying yeah. through Earth. Yeah, so yeah. I actually know a decent amount about the whole uh, speed of light because you can't break the speed of light on Earth, you know what I'm saying? So say, no, say, you got to be up. Yeah, yeah. so say, say if you, you were going on a... Uh, but then you're going on a bus, uh, like a train going the speed of light, right? Mm -hmm. And then you get up on the train and then you start walking, you know? Well, jets can hit the speed of light. You hear them crack the sound barrier. You can you right. can hear jets <laughs> crack well, the sound barrier. I'm sure it has something to do with like, I don't, gravity. I don't, I'm I'm sure don't think you can break thing. the... But I don't think, I don't think, think, I don't think it's as... I don't, you break the speed of sound barrier. Yeah, I was going to say... I, was, I mean, the higher you go, the less gravity you have. I was gonna I say I don't like think you're breaking the speed of light. I think you're just breaking the sound barrier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're not when, breaking like, the speed of light. When you see a jet light. with yeah, the, the bowl around it, God, that's, that's so the fast. Sound barrier. You're going so fast. You're breaking so the speed of light. When you break the sound, sound barrier, barrier, you'll see the jet before you hear the jet. The jet will yeah. be passed, and then you'll hear it cracking behind. Oh it, yeah, like, you'll hear it, and the jet flew by maybe 15, 20 seconds ago. Yeah. That's that shit. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. The theory of relativity basically, so like, if you're traveling in space and then you go through a wormhole and you pull it back and you come out to the other side, you traveled 10 years on Earth's time or some shit like that. So your twin's going to be, oh, so you get back, your twin's going to be old as shit. Ooh. And you're going to be this younger guy still. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. you didn't age that much, but it's been 50 years. Your kids got kids right. and their grandparents. Well, yeah, now. because you traveling through time doesn't stop time from. That's what I mean. So yeah. time and Earth's still going, but you are technically, you're traveling time, but you're still no, in yeah. the same time period yeah. as you would be on Earth. It's just crazy. No, yeah. Um, but I was thinking, I just thought of another very solid time travel movie that just had, deals with a lot of what you're talking about. Interstellar, dude. Oh, dude, that movie's Interstellar fucking fan. fire, oh my God. dude. Fucking fire. Yeah. But uh, now that we're back, we're going to do our shot o'clock real quick. All right, shot o'clock. Thing. It's it's shot o'clock time, and then we're actually going to talk about what we would do if 
we Different traveled track. back in time. If we had our time machine. Yeah, what would we do? And are we going to do that on the basis of, like, the butterfly effect? Are we going to do that on, you can do whatever you want, nothing's good, bad's going to happen? I do, when we do get to the butterfly effect, I do have a theory to throw out there. It's going to be a little... Well, hard. throw it out. Go ahead. Contact, throw it out. Talk right, right now. So, we all know the butterfly effect, it's all about, you know, him trying to Shame. manipulate his his future, his uh, his present, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. The whole, the whole thing. Now, now, think about it. Mm -hmm. It's a little out there, like I said, but think about... Maybe it's based off him being trapped in a video game. You know what I'm saying? Like, life... Like, in, throughout the movie, his life has, uh, like, checkpoints, I guess you can call them. And his journal would be kind of like, uh... The, uh, you know, like on your loading screen, when you check your files, it's got the date, the time, all that shit. Mm -hmm. His but journal would kind of be like a loading time. Or uh, mm -hmm. like your, like your uh, loading screen. But it's all so, just based off the changes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's all like, if you went what back in did. time and killed a butterfly and would come back, it would change everything. So, I, I mean, right. each, each thing is just well, a different same, change. Well, you know? yeah, but I do, well, if I you go back change. and take a different route, you're going to end up in a different place. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are we going to go... When we talk about what we're what we're gonna do, travel in time, are we gonna go off the butterfly effect basis, or are we gonna go off that you can do whatever you want, no no mm -hmm. consequences? Um, I I want to go off of uh, like you have your own time machine. Okay, well because I was gonna say if we do like the butterfly effect thing, we can like, kind of wonder we, what would happen if you did. Yeah, that. I would say let's go like what would you change? Like if, okay. what would be what you what would, what would you stop from happening or whatever? If you yeah. could go back, and what do you not? Think? What would you do at first? But what would you stop? And you know? what do you think would change it? Like, what yeah. do you think would change by changing that? Okay. All right. Well, how yeah, about that's good? What about you, Mitch? You've been quiet. What would you change if you could travel back in time? I don't know. Probably like kill Hitler or something cool like that. You'd probably like be the one to kill Hitler. <laughs> That's a classic. Okay, so then the guy that actually killed Hitler, which I don't even think we know who actually. Only killed Only problem Hitler. is, if I did that, what are we gonna do with all those extra Jews? <laughs> You know. <laughs> Dude, there'd be a lot of rich Jews, right? More well, poor, just other people. A lot more gas stations. I was gonna say, man, you can't talk shit about Jews. They're badass, bro. They, they own the world. Yeah, they own the world. Yeah. They came up from everything, bro. Yep. I've, I guess all odds. I don't I guess think everybody's I, best efforts. Well, yeah. They persevere. Okay. What about you? What would you change? Um. Is there any more questions? Mm -hmm. Not really. Well. Honestly, I don't know. Uh. uh you know what? <clears throat> there was an opportunity for me to have lived with my sister growing up uh, instead of my mom. Uh, and I don't, I don't think I'd be the man I am today, but no. I don't know. I think there are certain struggles I wouldn't have had to endure if you living went with, with your my sister? sister than living with my mom. Uh -huh. you know okay. I'm not saying, you know, my mom did the best she could. I was a you're just saying you might would you might would take things, that things opportunity. Things might have you know I, I might have been farther in life than where I am now, or you know I, I could be dead or strung out or whatever. Who knows? But I don't know. I think uh, so I think, I think a lot, what, what could have happened. Yeah, I think a lot of things would be different. I think yeah. uh, I'd be in a very different place. I think I'd be a different person. Okay. So All right. I think I would. Huh? If I could change anything. Hmm. I would go back in kind time and assassinate King Henry. The first. Should be for him. What are you doing? Yeah. What, what, yeah right? what, 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 what do you think that would stop? Because then I'd be in the history books forever. Yeah. Like yeah. every well, little yeah. prince up or whatever the fuck that guy's I name killed was? fucking King Henry. And plus, that's a guy like that. Fuck, fuck Britain. Fuck Britain. Fuck <laughs> <bro. laughs> them all. I live in America. I got a mullet and a fucking mustache, and I rate killing <laughs> King fucking Henry seventeen <laughs> mustaches I go out of twenty. If we're going like that, I go way back too, and I just bring modern shit and convince everybody I'm magic. <laughs> no, just go back to like Egyptian times, just like and just show up with a car. You'd be God instantly. They'd start depicting you on the wall, bro. They'd build a hieroglyph for you. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Then you just look up and be like, Yeah, I came yeah, from. You have like one of those statues. That I came from over. You'd live like a king. Why come back? You know what I mean? I've come back for the. You'd be getting all the Egyptian whores. The Wi-Fi. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like they're they they did not got. Did they even have underwear back in the day? You know what I mean? Back like, in Egyptian time. Well, they had seriously stinky pussies, I'm sure, because soap wasn't a real deal. <laughs> well, that's why you bring soap. And you bring a generator with like a makeshift, or you bring one of them solar showers. Or you know what I mean? Ball. So you can fill up water in Just it and then heat it. Show them about heating water. 
And actually, it doesn't matter because they say Egyptians. How far are you going back before they know that you can make yeah. water hot? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. He's like the next generation after like bomb. No, I'm saying one of those one of those <laughs> that, solar that one after that one of those solar showers that are like in the clear back because they couldn't heat water up by the sun. They they probably used fire. Okay, yeah. well I just hang my shit up because it's clear plastic. They ain't got no clear plastic back in the day. I would love to see if they plan. actually had lanterns and, and lights because there's no burn marks in any of the pyramids. They had batteries. Yeah, so I, I would, you know what? I would want to go back in time to see what the ancients actually had and how they built the pyramids and how, like, the Mayans and the Egyptians had the same gods even though they never talked to each other. Like, I would want to answer questions in my that I have in my journey. Fuck stopping something, you know? And I just want to say, no one said to stop 9-11. But that's because the government did that. I'm just going to throw that out there. You know what? I did what I said I'd never do, and I think I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I said never forget. I, I, mean, I, I forgot. Forget, never I fucking forget, forget, man. You're, I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna call everybody out. All right, maybe all right, maybe mine was a little selfish, but hey, you know what? Fuck you. I'm the one that's got to wake up every morning and fucking go to sleep. Well, you got a time machine. So, you can okay. go. You can go do whatever you want multiple times. Right. You know what I mean? Like, what would you do selfish for yourself? Like every time. You know those conversations like, man, I wish I would have said that. I'll go back and say that. <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. He'd be like, hold on, I gotta run home real quick because I, I just said the wrong thing. <laughs> I just said the totally wrong thing. I gotta run home. <laughs> Thirty yeah, minutes like, later. You know what? <laughs> You're getting there like, dude, I just did that. I fucked I'll up an hour ago. We'll I gotta change this. We'll see each other again. You just I'll tell you one thing. I'd never lose another argument with my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you got caught doing something dumb, you could just time travel back in time and find her and be like, hey, don't get caught, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, all the different she's going to come in the back door, so make sure she's out by 922. But, but if you see like a time travel version of yourself, doesn't that mess everything up? Well, are we going yeah, by the I was, butterfly effect? I was going to ask you. Like, that's, isn't we, that just standard, though? Like, if you do that, is it, aren't, isn't something going to go wrong? But maybe that's how you I'll know about time travel. And every generation of you... And every dimension keeps coming back and telling you so you'll infinitely always know about time travel. Think about that. You know what I mean? Like there's infinite dimension, like in Family Guy, when Stewie and them, and there was just a whole bunch of Stewie and Brian kept showing up and kept showing up, kept showing up, and then finally like that one Stewie freaked out and then just made everyone go back to their own place. It's like fucking Doctor Strange when he makes that Cause, celestial being go insane. Yeah, because technically you're blue. already going to know about time travel. You just don't know yet. And right. maybe you're the one that tells you about time travel. See, but the thing is, what? I don't know about you Five guys, but uh, none of my doppelgangers have came and told me shit. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> so, uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> In all seriousness, though, the, if I had the ability to travel through time, I'm not fucking doing it. I would. I'd, you'd never see me again. I'd go back because I always wanted to just go back you when might, times so was I would go living for yourself. And I would I would just go back to like the 1500s and like New Zealand and the mountains and I would just live for myself. Nope. I'd go, well, I'd I would only go to the future. I would never go Same. back in time. Same. I would go back in time. Well, I would go forward. Because if I can continue to travel in time, thing, I would go I, back I in time. I would not go back. I would go forward. It's Why? Like, because you'd be a god, first off, because you can keep going back. We can you continue to change something. So you change one thing and then you end up not being born. So then you, you, you like... You kick one rock on accident, next thing you know, you fucking disappear. You're never a thing. Right. Yeah, but there's that. It's so like Back to the Future that. starts disappearing out of the picture, but... I feel like well, if it was real like, life, though, you just disappear. Just like, like in Butterfly Effect, done. he didn't know what was going to happen after he went and, you know, did whatever. Oh, dude, like, the, like the one time he, like, loses his legs and all that when he gets exploded by the... Yeah, the by the uh, mailbox. Yeah, yeah, the mailbox, yeah. Was it the mailbox? Yeah, because mm-hmm. yeah, that's what one thing he tries is to, like, stop that from happening. Yep. Not mm-hmm. killing that lady, yeah. Yeah, man. Crazy consequences. Man. Fuck consequences. that. Consequences. I'm all about yeah. moving forward. Yeah, I, I think I would go to the future. Why? And see, just see, just to see what's out there. Curious, yeah. What if you go to the I future mean, and it's just like all barren fucking nuclear wasteland? Well, I, still, that, I still got my time. And you instantly and you instantly die because yep. it's nuclear radiation. Just you well, just see, get. Well, see, hold on, hold on. The thing is, the ozone just about, fully destroyed. We're talking about time, time travel right? and going back and forth. I, that's talking, what I mean. I'll just live like in the past. The other. Like, why, I'll just pick up a time machine. That's what I'm saying. Go. I hop I, there. Oh <laughs> shit! I'm out. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stop. I would go. I would go live in the past where no one had what I had. I would be a god, but also I could just go to the future, get my shit. You know, walk in and be like, oh yeah, I got these bricks of these full coins of gold because that's how they're paid back in the day. 
You know what I mean? And you're just raking that gold coin in. And you're just going to the future, like, selling this gold on the market. How, making how big is this time machine? It's like a tell. We're going to make it like Doctor Who. Like a phone booth? Like a phone booth. Like Bill and Ted? Like Bill and Ted, like Doctor Who. That size? Okay. Yeah. So I was like, if I can run with this thing, dude. Yeah, I'm, like I'm going to do, awesome. do some stuff here, and then when they, they think they're going to catch me... No way, dude. If you, have, if you have a time travel machine... <laughs> Turn out, sorry. <laughs> you thought. Yeah, so you got, like, you're sitting there, like, hiding it under a tarp in, like, the That's 15th saying, century. I'm, I'm, rob, I'm, I'm going to rob a bank or something, dude, and I'm just going to... Just deuce, dude. <laughs> just put that bitch, park it in the bathroom of the bank. And it's like, all right, I'm going to take a shit. No, <laughs> right, right. Well, here's God. my thing. Couldn't you just figure out when the bank was made? And then time travel to the exact point, the vault, in that location of the vault. Because you can go there before the bank was there, get the location, right? And then wait till the bank's made five years later, time travel into that, and then poof, you're time traveling into the vault. Kind of like a jumper situation. Yeah, yeah. but with time traveling. That'd be crazy. It's kind of dangerous. I mean, yeah, you'd have to have, like, those exact coordinates. That's what I mean. You went there, you know, like, in the present where I mean, the vault was there. Was like open up bank account and get like a safety That's what I mean. Box, go in go there. Go in there, like mark the mark Boom. those coordinates and fucking go back to your machine. That's what I mean, dude. Yep. And then you got like and then you can go back to the day before and rob it then. And then the day before and rob it then. And then the day before and rob it then. <laughs> bro, you just keep chain robbing these motherfuckers, bro. And like, why do you keep putting money in the bank? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, I'd go back in time and shoot Bonnie and Clyde. Um, I think I would go back to time and just switch places with Jeff Bezos. I go back. I'd I, I would steal Amazon from his ass, dude. Yeah. Yep. I'd pop in on Bill Clinton when he was getting his dick sucked by Monica Lewinsky. I'd just be like, what's up, motherfucker? <laughs> 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 You're like, I'm next all day. I'm just walking back. Oh, wrong one. I'm sorry. Can <laughs> I try to get one? Yeah. Oh, or what would be a good one, dude, is to go back in time and photobomb, like, all the most infamous pictures. Just dude. be in the background of my list. Oh, like, dude, like, yeah, the, dude, like, photobomb uh, everything. Like, like you're dude, just in the background of the JFK the, assassination the video. You're just, like, waving. 8,000 years, bro. <laughs> the fucking Hindenburg. How does this? The Hindenburg's there going down. Is again. There is a damn The Titanic, they're, like, on the smokestack. They haven't aged a fucking day. Right, that's what I'm saying. Mark, I wear the same shirt in all of them. I'm so confused. Oh, he's wearing the same Vans t-shirt. <laughs> no, it's like a band t-shirt. It's like Leonard Skinner or like some shit. Like, you know, like. Yeah, with the date on it. Like fucking. Why is this guy sitting on a horse next to King James when they're taking over Scotland, bro? <laughs> he's in a fucking Leonard Skinner t-shirt. Holding the guitar with a sword coming out of it. What the fuck is this guy? <laughs> fucking kicks ass. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Next thing you know, you try back, you come back in the future, and you're like the king of London. Your generations have came down. You know, you just changed the whole course of London. You yep. Mm-hmm. Called Jefton. <laughs> <laughs> Jefton. I'm fine with that. Jefton doesn't sound so Welcome bad. Welcome to Jefton. Lord <laughs> Hefe. <laughs> you know, you can buy a plot of land in like Scotland or something like that. You can like buy castles. By, like a ten by ten. There's like a thing you do because if you're a landowner in that area, you're considered a lord. So it's like a gimmicky thing, so you could buy one for like a 10 by 10 plot for like 10 or like 50 bucks. Yeah, and then you're technically the Lord. Yeah, so you can call me Lord Mitch. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You can buy castles and shit in Scotland. That's a lot more expensive than 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I could come, I could save up for a couple weeks and probably get 50 bucks. What are you going to do with a 10 by 10 square? You can visit it whenever you want. You can sit down. That's enough room to grill. Wait. No, get her off the buttons. Get her off the buttons. <laughs> Let's lift her up. All right, hold on. All yeah. Right, all right. No, so time travel in a gist, we'd all probably just be selfish, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm going personal gain all day. All day. I'm going personal gain. Like, I, uh, I, betting on Super what, Bowls, what, what you, all yeah, that shit, you, bro. What do you think is the quickest way to make the most money? Sports betting, travel? or go to the casino, Stop. right? Because you got your thing in the in the carport. Do a couple rolls, right? On like roulette, on big money. Like go into like. Five thousand okay. dollars, and put it on with, numbers. With oh, see problem. what the number is, and then see and what the number back. is, and then come back, and then yeah. just instantly win, and then keep repeating that. Yeah. You're and you're yeah. even on poker. You fucking, you, yeah, well, you won, bud. Like, yeah, the chips I mean, aren't like they're just gonna have multiples of the same chips, but they're not marked. Just different. imagine you being the first guy to come out with like five million dollars from a casino in one night. That probably raised some eyebrows. Well, they can't do nothing. I mean, how are you gonna cheat? Honestly, 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 I would have made money. They're gonna tell you to leave. Wow. I, would, I would catch every. I all just the try back in time. Lottos, mm-hmm. I get those numbers and I'd play them bitches. 
Yeah, dude. Well, so, yeah, winning the lottery would probably be the easiest way. Yeah. You're right. Uh, well, all when, you need is another. Yeah, when the lottery's up to like a billion, just ace it. Right. <sighs> you did that, then you did that. You and Liquid today ain't happening, man. Man, two beers dropped and then the nachos, <laughs> dude. And then Come a on. shot. Are you supposed to shot, too? He's oh, I did. Oh, I didn't even see that, dude. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. You all right, man? <laughs> Club Z. Uh, well, at least you got a towel down there. <laughs> Colton, you're like half cat, bro. You're On just that note, shit over. you guys have a good one. <laughs> if you travel some time, let us know. All right? Yeah, go We're going to go ahead and rewatch this video. Yeah. Make sure he doesn't fucking knock that shit over all yeah. the time. <laughs> yeah, go back in time. Come tell me I'm going to knock my nachos over. There you go.